guys, welcome to JMOF Pickup. I have a standing up setup going on today. So I wanted to cover a topic about how to work online game leads efficiently, okay? Very quickly, very efficiently, very optimized, all right? So when a lot of you guys try to do nighttime game in bars and clubs, you think you need to do all this fancy stuff, you need to say fancy things, behave fancy, do all kinds of fancy tricks, when in reality you just need to be normal, okay? Now the same applies here with Tinder, okay? Now I'm structuring things so I'm getting meetups really fast. So I'm gonna use Columbia as an example because I'm gonna be traveling there shortly. And so what I did was I turned my Tinder onto Columbia, right? I, I changed the location. For those of, those of you that don't know this feature exists, if you have Tinder Plus, this allows you to switch your city. So then you are able to swipe within that location, okay? I think Tinder Plus, I think I'm paying because I'm over 30 now. Um, I think it's like 20 bucks a month for me, but it's still relatively cheap. Um, anyone can afford that. So I'm swiping in Columbia, okay? And two real quick things I wanna cover. This is kind of how you can, remember I talked about my five hour video of the leads funnel. I talked about how you can pump leads through. Two quick ways to pump leads in faster, okay? Super likes. So for those of you that don't know, when you click the super like button, it's that blue star that's going to bump you up to the top of her list so that when she's checking through matches, she sees that it makes, basically makes you more prominent, makes you more visible, and the odds of you being matched with her go up a bunch, okay? Um, so the way, my strategy for Columbia is any girl above a nine, I'm super liking, okay? Now you can also use what's called the boost. That's like the little purple lightning bolt. And when you do that, that kind of like raises your visibility by like 10x for a half hour. And so girls that are swiping, like you're gonna appear another way to appear more quickly um, and have higher chances of getting matched, okay? So I did a couple boosts, okay? And you can also purchase, if you have Tinder Plus, you only get like one boost a week and you get five super likes a day. But you can also purchase more in bulk, which I highly recommend. Um, again, guys are like, oh, why would I want to pay this stuff for Tinder? If you think about like an average date, if you're going to buy a couple drinks for you and a couple drinks for the girl, or even if you were to have like a food date, for instance, like with dinner or some shit, that's going to be like 60 bucks. Drinks date's going to be like 20 bucks or 30 bucks. So it's really not that big of a deal. You can get like 60 super likes, um, at, at the most valuable package, like the cheapest super likes for the, the money. I think it was like 60 super likes for 40 bucks. And then you can get. I think you get um, 10 or 15 boosts for like 20 or 25 bucks. So utilize those tools. Um, I talked to a dude, one of my old students actually, he's a short Asian dude who took my live training in 2014 and he's now at I think like 250 count. And he was a developer for Tinder, a programmer. And he said that he sees like behind the scenes unless you have like really solid male model looks, it's gonna be really difficult for you to get a lot of matches. Um, so what I was able to do, um, I didn't, I think I only boosted like twice and then I have been super liking every girl above a nine and I ended up with, and I'm using it also another way to, I think the CEO put this statement out about their algorithm. The CEO of Tinder said that the best way to get the most matches is to use Tinder multiple times a day. Okay. Cause basically like when you're online more frequently, it shows you more often to more girls. So use it like when you're fucking taking a shit. <laughs> Maybe if you're like waiting for food to cook or like, you know, just random times. If you're like in a waiting room at a doctor's office, wherever, it's not like you have to, that has to be your go-to activity at all times. Um, I just use it a little bit more than usual this week because I'm trying to kind of load things up for Columbia. So after a week of swiping, and I'll put the little statistic that came up. Let me check actually, so I remember. Um, it basically said, and I, oh, I also created, you also have something called a user score. So like, um, your user score is dictated by how often you're liked and disliked and stuff like that. I, I wanted to create a fresh profile. I travel a bunch, but a lot of times I'll create a fresh profile for a particular area that I'm going. Um, so I created a fresh profile, which means you need to create a new Facebook. And I ended up getting uh, 103 matches. 
in a week and it says I have 442 messages back and forth. I don't know if that's counting just the ones I sent. It's probably counting like total messages sent back and forth. Okay, so on to the specifics of the messages that I sent. So here's how my typical conversation would go. Um, and this is all in Spanish. I speak fluent Spanish, but I'll say it in English. Okay, because the girls there all speak Spanish. And I'm gonna put out a video, a whole bunch of you guys have been DMing me and, and commenting on all my different videos to put out that video where I can teach you how to learn language. Not me personally, but a resource that I am familiar with where you can learn a language literally within a day. That sounds crazy, but it's true. I have done it. Or, you know, even more realistically within a week. Um, it sounds crazy, but I'll explain how that goes. Um, okay, so. I basically, I'll just say this all in English, but I was saying this stuff in Spanish. So I, would, I basically said like, hey, what's up? Again, not, nothing fancy, nothing fucking gimmicky. Literally, hey, what's up? That's like my, that was my go-to thing. Okay, hola, que pasa? <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> it's funny, because I, I can speak Spanish, but it's with like a fucking white person accent. Okay, and then, um, <laughs> but that, that makes it funnier when I'm talking to the girls and they all think it's cute. Okay, like in person. So, okay, hola, que pasa? She says like, hola, or whatever, como estas? Usually like, how are you? And then I'm like, good, I'm new to Colombia. And in my profile, it says that I live there for work, okay? I say, soy de Nueva York, I'm from New York, but I live there for work. Now, the reason why that's important is because a lot of these girls, especially like in like the top rated, like I lived in Kiev, Ukraine for three months last year. That's another like hot spot full of like, you know, stunner model chicks. Colombia also has some of the most beautiful girls in the world. Same with places like Brazil, um, Russia, you know, they don't want, there's tons of like people coming in as sex tourists. They're just there to try to like fuck the girls. And it's like a big turnoff to the locals, like the ones that aren't prostitutes. So like in Colombia, they're like very turned off if you are like just a white person there looking for sex. And if you're a tourist, they're gonna assume you're a sex tourist and looking for sex. So whenever I travel to any of these cities, I always say that I live there. I moved there for work, okay? I'm new here, but I moved there for work. So I have that in my profile. So I'm reestablishing that over text in case they didn't see my profile. So I'm like, hey, what's up? They're like, hey, how are you or whatever? I'm like, good. I just moved here, all right? I'm new to Columbia. And then, um, they're like, oh, good, blah, 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 how do you like it? Or, you know, some stupid shit back. And then I'll be like, I live here for work. And then a lot of times they'll be like, how long are you going to be here? Because they, they want to know, because a lot of them want to, like, get involved with you. And they don't want to know, or they, they want to know, like, how long you're going to be there. Like, is this just a work trip? Is this a short thing? So I'm like, oh, for mucho tiempo, for much time. To me, that constitutes, like, enough banter. Now, notice, none of this is lines. Like I see constantly on the, on the forum still, I don't know what the fuck guys are doing, but they're like saying lines. They're like, is it me or is, are you like an angel from heaven? You know, like some stupid shit, like these clever attempts to be cool or like, you know, none of that is needed. I'm literally like, hey, what's up? Okay, just like a cordial greeting, right? Like she matched you because she was interested. Like one of the best guys I know a text game, his text opener is just, hey, like from night game interactions, stuff like, it doesn't need to be like some big fancy thing, okay. Then I'm reestablishing that I'm new and that I live there. I live there for work. And then, um, uh, what's next? Then I ask for the phone number. Let's talk more on WhatsApp. Hablamos mas and WhatsApp, okay. They give the number like almost every time and this isn't, I'm tr trying to make this Columbia specific, I'm just showing you how straight, because I do this in other countries as well, I've done this in lots of other cities. It's not always this exact sequence, but it's like very straightforward. And this is what I've just been using the past week, so I'm just giving this like a case study. And yes, I am a white person going to Columbia, so yes, I do have an advantage for all the people that are going to comment about that. But I, you know, I'm kind of like showing you guys like a, just a quick case study of what I did and how you can apply that because I've done this in other cities where being white is not a novelty. So, um, okay, so then I get the number, I immediately go to text. So on Tinder you can press, I'm trying to be really specific here, you press the number, it puts it into your dial pad so to speak, 
okay? And it, you should know the country code, if this is, but just for those that are traveling. Um, they usually don't give me the country code, they just give me the number, because they assume you live there and that you have a local phone. So I put it into the thing and then it's uh, plus five seven for Columbia. If you're going to like England, it's like plus four four. You should, you should know for each city what the plus country code is and then um, just put that in. And most of these people in these foreign countries use WhatsApp. Um, you know, because that way, like, say if you're from the United States, which is what a lot of my viewers are from, WhatsApp allows you to text with people in other countries um, on using data, okay? So if you're connected to Wi-Fi or whatever. Okay, I'm trying not to make this, like, too travel-specific, but... So, then I immediately hit them up. Hey, it's John from Tinder. And then they're like, hey, what's up? And then I'm like, let's get a drink soon, right? We should get a drink soon. And they're like, yep, okay. And then, so I'm not, again, I'm not going into a bunch of fucking bullshit. I'm not trying to do this whole back and forth. We should get a drink soon. They agree to that. And then I say, I have to travel. <laughs> this is the funny part. I say, I have to travel tomorrow for business, okay. Now keep in mind, I'm not there yet. I tell them, but they think I'm living there currently. I say, I have to, so that I tell them, I have to travel tomorrow for business. I'll be back on and I'm telling them I'll be back on the day that I'm actually gonna be arriving for the first time, okay? And so, out of those 103 matches, um, at this point, in that one week of doing Tinder Plus, kind of like front-loading this whole machine, um, I counted them up today. There's over 50 girls, and I'm only swiping on the, like, the sexy ones, and I, I didn't count the number of girls that are like super stunner, but, I did match with I think at least 10 with those super likes that were like the high nine range, right? So, um, yeah, so now like there's like literally, I have not even arrived yet because of the power of technology. And again, I, most of my lays are from night game. And I'm like a huge night game person, day game, eh, I don't really like it that much. But, and I don't even use Tinder a whole lot in the States, but when I'm traveling, and bouncing around and stuff like that, it is an easy way to get a whole bunch of leads like good to go. Now, one other, okay, so like I said, there's 50, and this is just the ones, like some of them like haven't replied, like some didn't reply to the opener, not often, but some didn't reply to that, so I'll like do another pass through at some point and send another opener. Um, some didn't reply when I asked them for their number, so I, I might be like, hey, like, what's up? Because I don't have an objection. Like, oh, I don't want to give my number to a stranger or whatever. And I'll say like, oh, I just don't check Tinder much. So it's easier to talk there. Send me your number. I promise not to send you lots of texts. Ha, ha, ha. Um, some might have stalled when I asked them to met up, meet up for a drink soon. And then I would come back in and, you know, just lightly banter again with them. And this, and there's like more matches coming in every day. And I'm not even there yet. And I don't even usually front load this much. But uh, right now I've just been like mostly focused on uh, lifting and martial arts and stuff like that. So I haven't been like, I just have like my rotation in the city I'm in. I haven't been like getting a whole bunch of leads and stuff and like closing at the rate that I normally do. But in Colombia, it's gonna be like a frenzy and I'm gonna probably be there for weeks. So, um, and that's like my favorite type of girl too. Like the Latina, like curvy, like big ass, big tits, um, pretty face. So, let's see. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to show you guys. And I could have even made these results even more pronounced if I would have done like additional boosts or started super liking even like the 8.5 and up or the 8s and up. Um, and I'm not even using it like a whole lot. Like, I think one of the boosts I got like close to 20 matches or something like that. Um, there's like been a couple days where I barely used it at all and then, and of course didn't get any matches because you're not using it. So, oh, the other point I was going to make is that typically you can add in like a screen as well. Cause okay, obviously I can't see all 50 of these girls, not even in the first week that I'm there. <laughs> I could try, probably will try. No, but, uh, <laughs> basically like I want to, I ideally want to put in some kind of screen a sexual screen to see like who's quote unquote down and who's not like I don't want to have 
dates where like I go on a date and then she's like, oh, I don't go home with a stranger. I, I can't come back to your place because I just met you and we need more dates and this kind of shit. Because, you know, I'm not looking for like a long term relationship there. Um, <laughs> and I would stay uh, for a long time, longer time, probably until I went to Europe. But uh, Sonny and I have orchestrated those live programs I talked about. Oh, a quick aside about that. We have a New York City program um, that's at capacity. Our Washington DC program is at capacity. Our Toronto program was at capacity. Uh, but one of the guys ended up having a conflict on the date. So we do have one spot left for Toronto. So if you live in Toronto or a nearby city, uh, contact me about that, epdatingcoach at gmail.com. Um, that's gonna be May 3rd through 5th in Toronto. And then we do have openings. We just added a Montreal program because we're gonna be in Toronto. So we, the next weekend we're gonna be going to Montreal. That has openings, that's May 10th through 12th. And then I believe we have one spot left in San Diego for May 17th through 19th. Um, and then we're gonna be traveling all around different parts of Europe and other parts of the world, uh, me and Sonny Arvado. And there's gonna be some other events, guys, that are gonna meet up with us. Alex, uh, from the guy that leads the playing, playing with Fire group, he's gonna meet up with us, I think, out in Eastern Europe. Uh, so basically, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have, just kind of like going back into the, the whole high level summary of this again. I'm gonna have multiple Tinder accounts, right? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be swiping in different cities. Actually, once I get to Europe, see, because right now everything's in Spanish, once I get to Europe, I'm gonna change it back to English, and then I'll just say, just moved, just moved here for work, not a tourist, and that way I can swipe in different cities and countries, and it doesn't like lock me into like Ukraine or Lithuania or something, for instance. I just won't explicitly say where I am in my profile. Um, okay, but yeah, the, one of the reasons why you can't really screen like I normally would in Colombia is because they're very like, I heard the, the slut defenses are really high, the anti-slut defenses. So they almost all wanna have like a public date first and like some of them won't even pull home from the public date. But I've tried like throwing out some sexual stuff. Now I got like a really hot like New Zealand model chick that's in Colombia and doesn't know any Spanish. She like planned wrong or whatever. But we're already like sexting and stuff over WhatsApp. Um, but she can't even speak to most of the locals. And she doesn't have the slut shaming thing. At, like the locals do but you know I can't really start like putting out sexual feelers with a lot of these chicks yet because it's gonna just blow a lot of it out all right so I'll probably just see the hottest ones first and go from there um, but yeah let's see what else okay so again to recap if you don't have tinder plus get tinder plus because that's gonna allow you five super likes a day and one boost per week. And the boost lasts 30 minutes. It just elevates your chance of getting matches for that 30 minutes. And the super like are gonna raise the chance that you match with the girl. Um, you should um, have all your, just a side note on your online game profile. Check out my channel though. I have, a, I have a video that I actually took from my, it's a training module from my product. And I talk about how you should have your pictures taken by a professional photographer with professional lighting, um, even possibly a green screen if you have one of those. And then in the green screen, you can like Photoshop. Like I have a DJ picture of me DJing at Tomorrowland. <laughs> I have a picture of me skiing like on a mountain, even though I've never been skiing. Um, a picture in London. I did go to graduate school in London and did live in London, but I have like a fake picture with a green screen behind me from London. Um, just even like, like the, the picture that's killing it in Colombia, I tried a few different ones, is my headshot. I'll put that up on the screen with, with some of those other ones as well. I had a pro headshot done, pro photographer, pro lighting, and it had like a ring light, like a circle of lights. So it kind of like gets like catch lights in your eyes. And I have blue eyes, which is like a novelty in Colombia. Um, so I'm just, again, I'm just playing my advantages, right? And I even had the eyes, like the blue in my eyes, like made even more blue, right? And the chicks are all like, oh my God, your eyes, right? You're just, what you want to do in every situation in game 
is play your advantages, okay? I have my height listed too. A lot of Hispanic people tend to be on the shorter side. I have my height listed at the beginning of my profile. You know, just play, play all your strengths. Try to optimize in every situation that you can. But I just wanted to illustrate how easy it is to, you know, and again, it's probably a terrible example using Columbia because you guys are gonna be like, oh, you're a tall, white, blue-eyed dude. But I've done this in Ukraine, like last summer, I had like 200 matches in Ukraine. I didn't like pre, like do this like before I got there, but within like the first couple of weeks, I had like 200 matches in Ukraine, okay? And most people are tall and white there. So again, this wasn't, you know, it's not all just about being tall and white. Um, <laughs> So a lot of people all try to like blame their their failures or their you know relative success at game you know based on that you should optimize what you can um but i'm just trying to show you the like the message sequence in particular like it's very 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 straightforward and of course you fill in with banter as needed like if she asks you a question you're not just going to ignore it you're going to like give a quick response but then continue on with your script all right so just to recap that one more time hey what's up she replies um i'm new here she replies, I live here now for work. She replies, let's move this to WhatsApp. On WhatsApp, hey, it's John from Tinder. She replies, let's get a drink soon. Yes, and then, you know, it's just, it's just a whole compliance letter. Like, if she's giving you her number, obviously she's cool to meet up, right? So I'm not gonna like banter her whole shitload over WhatsApp. I'm not gonna have like this long conversation over WhatsApp. Um, and then I'm like, oh, well I have to travel. I'll be back this day, right? Now, the, like the day before I arrive there, I'll blast probably through the whole list on WhatsApp and be like, I arrive back tomorrow to kind of like refresh the lead, right? And then find out their availability for the week and then schedule them all. I'm gonna have to do like date venues, most likely. Schedule them all like two hours apart or so, hour and a half to two hours apart. And then like very quickly, I'll get a feel for like what kind of objections am I running into when I try to pull home. But I'm gonna like build, like what, what I do anytime I go to a new city is I like very quickly build a rotation. And it's, it's, not, it's not even usually through Tinder. It's like, I'm also gonna, I'm also like finding out what the best clubs are. I'm gonna be hitting those clubs. I'm gonna be hitting the best day game spots. And it's just putting leads in the funnel, right? You go to any city, the way you get a rotation quickly, the way you start fucking hot girls quickly, the way you, you know, crush it, so to speak, which is what I'm all about, which is what I try to teach you guys to do in my videos, is you put leads in, right? So I'm gonna be new there. I kinda wanna hit the ground running. So I have all these fucking hot girl, and I'm not even swiping on these like average chicks, especially like, since I already have like 50 that wanna meet up, like I'm only swiping on like the really, really hot ones now. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm gonna arrive there. I'm gonna already have my whole week stacked with dates, okay? And what's gonna, What's the game plan for the date? Just to like continue through the, the cycle here, the flow of what's going on. The date is gonna be the nearest bar to my house, right? I'll probably go and check them out. <laughs> it's like fucking like recon, like of a secret agent. I'll go and like find out, you know, you don't want it to be a tiny venue because that doesn't give you much options of where to sit, especially if um, the place is full. Um, you know, I'm gonna be, sitting down like kind of putting out feelers of what i can get away with in terms of like sexual jokes um blah 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 like figure out what their objections are to coming back home to have wine or for whatever other reason i'm gonna have like this nice patio in the place that i'm renting so i'm gonna show pictures of that and um tell them we should go hang out there like an outside hangout place like if you have like a deck or a balcony or a patio or anything like that it's like really non-threatening it's like outside instead of like in your house, so to speak. But yeah, I mean, this isn't like fucking advanced rocket science texting. Um, I mean, all you really need to do to replicate this is get good pictures for Tinder. Um, get Tinder Plus, possibly, which I highly recommend purchasing some extra super likes and some extra boosts and then just using it, like have like a daily calendar reminder. I, I mentioned this in other videos, you should be swiping at least once a day, whether it be before bed or when you first wake up or whenever the fuck, 
when you're fucking shitting, <laughs> there should be like some designated time each day where you're, where you're swiping, right? Because it's just basically like doing online opens, okay? And then, you know, preferably use it multiple times throughout the day. It doesn't need to be this like big OCD thing where you're like trying to be on there all the time and shit. Um, but yeah, use that. And then when you get the match, just have a few back and forths. In this particular case, I'm establish I want to establish that I'm a local. And then move to text, say we should meet up, they agree. And then, you know, normally if you're already living there, you would just say, okay, what's your schedule? And then she would give you her availability and then you'd set the date. And then watch my video on how to set up first dates straight to the house. That's the strategy I would normally take so that they're all coming straight to the house. But in Columbia, I'm gonna have to meet at the public date venue first because they have like the slut shaming thing. And a lot of them are very reluctant to go to the house. So I have heard straight off the bat without meeting in a venue first. Um, and the ones that are like hitting me up a bunch, like I've, I've said like, oh, you're really excited for me to return from my trip. Like you must like, really, like I bet you're super excited to give me kisses and shit. Like, like stupid shit like that, which is like a minor screen. And that's been pretty receptive. Like obviously if they're hitting me up all the time, I can like put out a little bit of a feeler there, right? With one girl, I was like, she was hitting me up like so much and I was like, she's like, I wanna see photos from your from your trip. And I was like, yeah, sure. I was like, how about, <laughs> I was like, how about also photos of my dick, right? Like in Spanish. And she's like, oh no, like, she's like, oh, like, she said, she said something like, uh, we don't talk like that in our culture or whatever. And I already knew that, but I'm like, you know, trying it out anyways. <laughs> um, and by the way, I'll make a, a separate video on dick pics. Like the big lesson there is you should never send them unsolicited. You should kind of like prime them. <laughs> yeah, so I'll really quickly go into kind of the sequence I use for that. So I might say like, you look like you have a naughty side from your pics or do you have a naughty side? And if they say yes or maybe, then I'll be like, um, what kind of naughty stuff are you into? I actually got some of this from Sonny Arvato. Uh, back in the day and then they'll start talking about positions and shit like that And you'd be like damn you're you just gave me a boner like damn you're really turning me on and they'll be like Oh, yeah, and then you'll be like yeah, I want to see it and then that that's kind of like so now you brought things to that point And she's like yeah, then you send your fucking dick pic or you can like text leads in the morning and um, Be like just woke up with fucking morning wood or whatever with like the embarrassed face or with the hands over the eyes and shit and then she might be like oh yeah and you might and then you can be like ha 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 I want it. it looks picture perfect and that like kind of prompts her to like either ask to see it or like sets it up so that you can ask but anyways I'll cover all that in another video um <laughs> all right well this video has already gone on long enough I just wanted to I'll, I'll edit in some little things showing you examples here um yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, one other thing. We're like less than 50 away from 2,000 subscribers. I think they're less than 40 away, as I checked. So I promised you guys a gift at 2,000 subscribers. I'm going to break down a whole daytime, day game in field footage pull from start to finish. So that means meeting a random stranger during the daytime and taking her home. So yeah. Share this channel with your friends, get them to subscribe. If you are not a subscriber, please subscribe. And when we hit 2000, we will have this daytime infield footage pull breakdown. That means I approach a stranger in public during the day and then all the way, you'll see the whole interaction all the way to taking her back to my place, which will be a fun time because everyone's like day game, day game. It's like, hooray. I actually, drink when I do day game it makes it a little more enjoyable. So, all right. If you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Take care.